of all, the most important upgrade I think you can do to a boat, especially if you love bass fishing like I do, is a deck. Um, the Springbok came stock with this small section as a seat. Um, what we've done over the past few years is we've added this section of the deck and this front section of the deck. And I'm just going to show you how. I've already taken out the screws. Um, what we have here is a removable piece which is generally screwed down with uh, two and a quarter inch uh, coated deck screws. Very important to use deck screws which are coated so it doesn't rust out. Um, and what we have here is a uh, two and a quarter inch uh, piece of plywood. Now, there's two trains of thought on uh, using what type of plywood. Um, marine grade is obviously going to last a lot longer and it's going to um, not rot out as fast. I've used regular deck wood. Um, it's cheaper, it's more economical, and uh, after, oh, this has lasted a good 15 years so far, and we haven't had to replace it. So it's basically a, it's, it's an option whichever one you want to choose with. Um, as you can see, this is the design we've done, how you would install carpet. Uh, it's very important, marine grade carpet. Don't use any outdoor, indoor carpet. Go to a specialized dealer, a marina, uh, boating store and get proper marine grade carpet. It's going to last longer, it's got UV inhibitors in it, and it will repel stains and uh, water. Whenever you're coating it, uh, the deck, it's important to wrap it around at least two to three inches. As you can see here, what we've done here is use a staple gun to attach it to the plywood. On the other side, we've used a marine adhesive, especially made for decks and carpet, to attach actually the carpet to the deck. Now, I'm going to show you whether you can see it from that camera point. This is the framework we use. Now this is marine grade, uh, pressure treated, 2 inch by 2 inch framework. Um, solid as anything, you can see I can stand on this, no problem. You need something extremely, extremely sturdy. You're going to have a lot of weight on here. A lot of times I'll have two people fishing up front. Next thing I want to showcase is uh, live wells and how we built someone. Now this boat already came with a stock live well on this side. Back in the day when I used to actually fish tournaments, uh, I needed two live wells in the boat. And for boats that don't already have one, which many aluminums don't, this is a neat idea how to build one. Now there's three trains of thought in building a live well. You can buy a pre-purchased live well, which is basically a built cooler with a built-in live well um, pump. And that can be attached to anywhere in your deck or built into a compartment. What we ended up doing was, we had an aluminum shop build us this. Um, extremely heavy duty. We, as you can see here, we put the, uh, the pump right into it. And what we did with that was, with our already stocked storage container, we just slide that um, live well right in there. So we actually got that made to fit our existing storage compartment, which is great. Um, slides in I can take it out if I want to right now I'm not fishing tournaments anymore I've still got the one standard um, stock live well and I use this for storage now so it's great to have this removable function the other idea you can get is just to use a cooler an everyday container type Rubbermaid cooler and you can attach a pump to it so you've got three ideas when it comes to building a live well great for guys at fish tournaments uh, you want to keep some fish for the dinner table or you're big into live release throw them in there uh, let them revive after catching them, take a few snapshots, and away they go. Another upgrade I'd be lost without on the boat is a bow mount electric. Um, especially if you're going to build a deck, you're going to be fishing up here the majority of the time, you need a bow mount. Now whether you get a, a hand operated or a foot controlled, which I have here, um, it's one of the highest priority upgrades I can think of in a boat. Especially if you're fishing shallow water, you're going to be moving around a lot. No more paddling, no more using the big outboard motor. This will get you around efficiently, quiet, and really they've come down in price. So it's not too bad over the course of um, how long you're going to keep your boat, basically. One tip to keep in mind is, this is a power drive model. There's also cable operated models for small aluminums, which we have here. My recommendation is to have a power drive. It's going to take up lots less space, the actual unit, um, and also the cable system that will attach to power it is a lot less bulky in a power drive. So just one thing to keep in mind. Now what we have here is, uh, make a little bit of room so you can see that, is a bilge pump. Small boat odors, um, you're prone to get water in your boat. Uh, you don't want to be bailing all the time, uh, you don't want to have the risk of sinking, any issues like that. 
very easy installation is a bilge pump. So we put this one in the back ourselves. We just ran a hose. Um, you can probably get one of these units for under 50 bucks. Another simple upgrade that we made was actually installing an electrical box uh, panel in the back of the boat. This has the built-in fuses in it. Um, it's all the switches that actually run my live well on the build. Right back here, I sit right here, so it's, it's easy, close at hand. And it keeps a lot of the wires out of the way. So we run everything actually through the decking, which once you start building your deck, you'll figure out a way to do that. Um, we have all of ours running actually underneath these small deck spaces on the side. So if you've got a small aluminum, a 12 footer or 14 footer, upgraded this season. Very cost effective and you'll be surprised at what you can do with a few tools, a couple hours on your hands and uh, build a great rig like this. So get out there, enjoy it. Hope you have a great season this year.